virtual, but this is not virtual. This is actually happening in the last 30 minutes. Vice President Mike Pence's plane, Air Force Two landing in Charlotte, also arriving Marine One. Now, Marine One is the plane that's going to carry the president from Charlotte to the Asheville area this afternoon. The president himself expected to land sometime in the next 15 minutes or so. And WCNC Charlotte's Rachel Lumberg, you can see, joining us live from Charlotte Douglas. So, Rachel, what do we know um, at this point about the president's visit, not only to Charlotte, but then carrying on to Asheville? Hey guys, so I do want to point out that as soon as we can get back in touch with Nate to see if the vice president is on his way or at the convention center, as you guys just said, Air Force Two landed around 11 a.m. We did just see a couple um, black Suburbans drive toward where that plane was waiting. As you can see behind me right here at the North Carolina Air National Guard, we've got two helicopters that will presumably carry the president and be Marine One and then Marine Two with the vice president. But we did hear from the GOP chairwoman who sent the RNC into recess just a bit ago that she hinted at a couple guest surprises or surprise guests rather. So that's what we're kind of waiting to see. As you can see where the camera is pointed right now, a lot of different vehicles that could be the motorcade that maybe takes the president and vice president to the Charlotte Convention Center to be those surprise guests. We do know, according to the White House um, official schedule that they released, that um, he was going to be heading up from Charlotte to um, the Asheville area for an event. Take a look at the sky right now. Let's change the camera angle because this could be Air Force One. Obviously, it looks like we are at a ground stop here at Charlotte Douglas. I don't see any planes getting ready to take off or land. The biggest plane I've ever seen Car covered this once before. So as soon as it gets a little bit closer, I will see if my photographer Willie gives me the nod if it looks like that this is Air Force One. All the media and everybody getting ready. I do see some people as well on the tarmac that are walking toward that area where the plane is landing. Guys. Rachel, you alluded to it, but you have covered um, Air Force One arriving in Charlotte prior. Um, is there a sense that this is a little bit different this time, or is it the same amount of crowds there? Because um, this whole surprise guess, we are very curious if this does mean, in fact, that the president will be making his way into Uptown Charlotte in the convention center. Okay, yeah, obviously that is not Air Force One as well. That's an American Airlines plane. But like you said, Carolyn, I have covered this once before with the Trump administration. And this process, I've been all over my social media pages saying how different it was from last time. And it's because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We were brought out to this riser around 8.30 this morning, and then we sat in our cars for a couple hours till Secret Service came up, got us and escorted us back here. And then really quickly, within minutes, um, we had the two helicopters land Air Force Two, and now we are awaiting, hopefully in about eight minutes, for the president to land as well. They haven't confirmed, though, the big question is if he is going to be touching down right here and taking off again, possibly in one of these helicopters to Asheville, or if he will get in these vehicles that are to my right and take that to the Charlotte Convention Center. So we should be having those answers really any minute. See, we lost uh, Rachel there, some little technical glitch. We're going to get back to her as soon as we can and hopefully get uh, the president's arrival here in the Charlotte area. Very exciting stuff, Ben. By the way, we should go ahead and say uh, NBC News already confirming that Vice President Mike Pence, his motorcade just arrived at the Charlotte Convention Center. So uh, we already know he's actually there, expected to address delegates momentarily. As we await.